What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, like and subscribe. I talk all things wedding photography and business and amazingness. And today I wanted to talk about something very spicy, I feel like, in the industry. And it's whether or not you should be photographing for free. I have my own hot take on this, but I've seen across the board between colleagues and just students in my community that people are really split. They're like, I don't think I should be doing it. And then other people are saying, you should absolutely, why wouldn't you? And so today I wanted to dive into what I think about it, how it has or hasn't helped my business and what I feel like it could do for your photography business. So before we get into that, I have an amazing masterclass for photographers specifically, and it's four steps to getting booked out with premium prices. This is something I specifically specialize in, and so I get really excited to teach it to other photographers to really help them just change their business. Um, and you can get that at elizabethwansey.co forward slash masterclass, or you can click the link below and it will lead you right there to sign up. Okay. Let's get into it. No matter how experienced you are, whether you're just starting out or maybe you've been doing it for 10 plus years, I absolutely think you should be photographing for free. So there's a couple of reasons why, um, and we'll get into that in just a second, but I think one of the detriments that we do to ourselves in our own photography businesses is we ask ourselves questions like, well, is this going to um, make us be respected? Or what is this going to seem like if we do this? And unfortunately, that makes it so that we miss out on a lot of opportunities that are amazing because we're wondering essentially what would other people think. Now, removing that from your vocabulary entirely, entirely, I want to talk to you today about three reasons I think you should absolutely be shooting for free for your own photography business. I did it for my own photography business for the entirety of almost nine years now. I still do it to this day very selectively, um, but let's just get into it. Okay, so the first reason you should be photographing for free is for collaboration, um, networking, if you will. So one of the biggest parts of the wedding industry in general is just networking and getting out there and meeting new people, meeting new vendors. Um, typically in your area, it's a very small industry. Even in my area, the Bay Area, it's still it's still pretty small. And so you really want to get out there and you just want to meet people and you want to get to know people and you want to show them what you can do um, and start to create just friendships because not only is that helpful in the long run in terms of booking, but it's just really nice to have friends in the industry um, who understand what you're doing and what you're building and who speak your language, right? So um, when you are photographing for free, typically what that looks like is you might have a vendor hit you up and ask you to photograph um, their floral arrangements, their bouquets, um, or maybe you have a planner hit you up and ask you to photograph with them for a style shoot. And you're not typically going to charge for those things because it is a win-win situation. You are going to get beautiful portfolio images if you do your diligence and make sure that you are um, only taking these when they make sense for your business. But then also you're using that opportunity to, to network and to meet new people and build relationships. And often those relationships lead to more jobs and referrals from planners and other vendors in the wedding industry. Um, so it's a really awesome way to collaborate. And I think that is hugely missed when people consider photographing for free. Um, so reason two, we kind of just talked about this, but is styled shoots or editorials, whatever you want to call them. But what a styled shoot is essentially is a collective of um, vendors getting together and collaborating um, and putting forth whatever their work may be. So you might have a planner, you yourself the photographer, you might have a florist, you might have a rental company, you might have a venue that you're working with. Um, all of these people collectively typically are coming together and working um, completely for free to create really beautiful portfolio images for their stuff. So just like you want really beautiful on-brand portfolio images for your photography business, so does a florist, so does a planner, so does the venue, 
Um, so does even the rental company. And so that's where you come in and where your services for photographing for free really help out because you are, yes, getting portfolio images for yourself, obviously, but you're also doing that for everybody else um, who is working with you for free as well. Now, a lot of times when um, people are just starting out, they are not, they don't have access to jobs that are super beautiful just yet, or that really inspire them, or maybe they even want to show on their portfolio. And so another really great way that I like to tell people to build their portfolio is by doing styled shoots. So in order to have the bookings that you want, to book the weddings that you want, the look of the weddings that you want, you need to show that you do those. And unfortunately, you can't really ever show that you do those if you've never done them before. And that's where the styled shoots come in. So you create something really beautiful with the vendor team. You take the images from there and you start to show those as part of your portfolio. And that becomes really helpful because it shows what you're capable of, but it also shows um, prospective couples what they could possibly do for their weddings that they probably would have never thought of before. So that's really cool, really exciting. Um, and couples love looking at that stuff for inspiration. Think, think about it. The couples who are looking to get married, typically the brides are on Pinterest looking for ideas of what to do for their wedding, right? And so you get to have some say in that when you're creating brand new, fresh styled shoots um, with all of this good stuff in it. Okay. And then the third reason that is completely overlooked and I think um, should be thought about more is you get to give back to your community when you photograph for free. Um, I'm a huge proponent of having a heart-centered business, meaning using your business to do as much good as possible. Now, when you're first starting out, you know, maybe you don't have the funds to give monetarily because you're just starting out. And that's totally fine because you have a skill and you can use that skill to go out and then to bless other people. I know there's like tons of like um, animal shelters that need photographs of their animals that look really good. So people will be more enticed to actually want to adopt them. Um, but there's other places that I've looked into that also need photographs as well. So like foster families, um, even cancer patient centers, um, I mean, newborn like photography, maybe someone wants to get photos of um, their brand new birth and like have that for them. Or I, I don't know, but there's just so many different ways that you can bless people with your skills. Um, and you should be considering this because it's a blessing in itself to make this a business for yourself and make money from it. And I just believe that you should take your blessings and bless other people with it. So we do this monetarily. We give to charities that are dear to my heart. Um, and also to our church. But again, if that's not something that you can do right now, or maybe you just don't want to do, that's totally fine. You can use your skill with your camera, photograph for free, and just help people out in your community. Um, so with that being said, those are the three main reasons I feel like you should photograph for free. Um, one, obviously, for the networking aspect and building relationships in your industry. Two, because doing styled shoots will really help you build your por portfolio and really also help inspire people who are looking to get married um, with what they should do for their weddings and then inspire them to then inquire with you anyway. And then three, to give back to your community through the skills that you already have. Um, even if you feel like you're not skilled enough, whatever that means, I guarantee if you have a camera and you've been working on it, you're much more skilled than anybody else who's just randomly picking up a camera to take pictures. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and again, really go check out that masterclass. It's amazing. We've had so much feedback from people who've just attended the free masterclass saying how game changing it was just from that information for their photography business. Um, and again, that is linked below or you can visit elizabethwansey.co forward slash masterclass. Um, and that is it for today. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.